He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. I am Dr. Mark Nims, and I am sharing our Easter devotions this week using the resurrection eggs. But before we get to our Easter devotion this morning, I do have to share a very special shout out to some very special people. So I say, Blessed Easter and hello, Carissa, DJ, Jessica, and Lisa. And happy birthday to you, Mrs. Nims. Are you one? Are you two? Are you? And to Veronica, way down in Tennessee. Hey, Veronica. To Nathaniel and Julia, way over there in Italy. Blessed Easter to you, and blessed Easter to each and every one of you this very blessed morning. This video is being produced on Easter morning. And it's, uh, it's pretty close to 6. It's a little bit after 6 a.m. right now. And it's very quiet in the Nims household, but it is Easter Sunday morning. During the last two days, we've had the opportunity to open many, many eggs. And uh, we've, we've shaken some of them. Some of them have made a lot of noise. Some of them almost no noise. Let's take a look at what we've looked at. We've found, we've found the donkey, and Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey oh, one week ago today on Palm Sunday. The pieces of silver, remember the pieces of silver? Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And on the night that Jesus was participating in the Passover meal, he instituted the Lord's Supper. After the Passover meal, Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane and he prayed. And while he was praying, he was arrested in the garden. And he was flogged. He was whipped. And then Peter denied knowing Jesus three times before the rooster crowed. And the soldiers made a crown of thorns and placed it on Jesus' head. And then they mocked him. And then the soldiers placed Jesus on the cross. They nailed him to the cross. Can you see that those, this cross is made, up, made out of nails? And to make sure that he was dead, the soldiers thrust a spear into Jesus' side. And then a man by the name of Joseph of Arimathea asked for Jesus' body because he believed in Jesus. He believed that Jesus was the Son of God and wanted him to have a proper burial. So Joseph asked the soldiers for the body, and Joseph wrapped Jesus' body for proper burial in a piece of linen, much, much larger than this. And then a stone, much larger than this stone, was rolled in front of the tomb. And today, we open the very last egg. But I want to share with you, according to Matthew chapter 28, verse 5, the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. No, don't be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Let's shake the egg. It doesn't make any sound either. The, the egg with the linen in really didn't make any noise. wonder what's in here. Open it carefully. And we see that this morning's egg is empty. Are you, are you surprised? You know, when the two women came to the tomb of Jesus on Sunday morning, they were surprised too because the heavy stone had been rolled away and the tomb was empty and Jesus' body was not there either. The angel had told the women that he had risen. Jesus Christ had come back to life. And this was the promise that Jesus made to his disciples at that very special dinner just a few days earlier. Jesus promised that he would die, but he would come back to life to show those who believed in him that they too would live forever. You know, on Good Friday, everything seemed pretty bleak and sad, and I'm sure that the disciples were very afraid. But they did not fully understand that Jesus Christ would rise from the dead. And someday, because Jesus died for us and rose again, we will meet him face to face. And we can thank him in heaven. That, ladies and, gem and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the Easter story. And the best part about the Easter story is that it is true. 
a very blessed Easter to you. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Would you please pray with me? And we bow our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for dying for my sins and the sins of all people. Thank you for rising from the dead and calling me to faith in your resurrection and help me to share this special news with everyone I know. Jesus, it is in your name that I pray. Amen. A very, very blessed Easter to you and share that good news with all whom you come in contact with. We'll see you next week.